Hey guys, I am continuing on my Mythical Creatures sketches. I will post the final page walkthrough on Instagram with photos of specific pages. Um, oh. <laughs> I just want to talk about something that I have struggled with in the past and I continue to struggle with. And it is that overwhelming sense of failure. Um, it's like this weird little cloud that follows you around. And you think you've done something really well. And then all of a sudden the cloud starts raining on you with bad thoughts. And you're just like, what? Why? And it's like if you don't do a sketch perfectly or you're not getting like the feedback you want, you have this overwhelming sense of failure. And I get that a lot. I'm actually my harshest critic. And my boyfriend has told me, he's like, I don't know why you think everyone is going to judge you, but you judge yourself harder than anyone else could. And I think, <laughs> I think the reason I do this, and I've mentioned it in another video, is that if I judge myself harsher than what people, other people judge me as, I know that the worst criticism I can ever get is what I think. And it's this weird screwed up thing because it's actually been very detrimental to me um, as an artist and it has held me back quite a bit because it's that feeling of I'm not good enough. I'm never going to be good enough. And that's something that I'm working through and that I hopefully will give anyone who's struggling with the same thing a little bit of insight on. Um, and this challenge is actually really helping with that because it's making me draw every day. I have to do 20 to 40 pages every day so that I know that I'm meeting my goals. And these aren't... It's not like these are strict goals, but these are the goals that I've set for myself. If I can get this challenge, this 600 page sketchbook challenge done in 15 days, I will have met my goal. And I know that sounds absurd to some people, but that is what is in my head. That is what I'm aiming for. If I can do it in less time than I think it would take, I think in less time than the time that it was given, I will have succeeded. That is my thing. But 15 days is kind of the mark that I've given myself of I want to do this in that time. I would like to have this sketchbook finished and completed before the wedding I have to go to at the end of the month. And if I could do that, and that would just be like top marks, that'd be so great. Anyways, so the reason, um, like, I think I went off on a tangent. <laughs> like, what I was saying before is that we are we are our own worst critics. It is good to keep a critical eye on your work so that you can make improvements, but don't be so critical that every single line you put down, you're afraid to make marks on a page. Um, and this is one of the reasons that I always keep a sketchbook is because a sketchbook is meant for personal growth. It's not meant to be this beautiful work of art and every page is a beautiful composition. That's not a sketchbook. That's a, that's an art book. And if you want to create an art book like that, then go ahead. That is your own prerogative. But for me, my sketchbook is where I make mistakes, is where I fuck up, is where I leave half finished drawings and... Like, I will start a page, and then all of a sudden I'll get another idea, and I'll start another page, and I'll forget about the original page. Like, that is what a sketchbook is. It's a it's a growth thing, and sometimes I'll go back to those old pages, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember what I was doing here, and then I'll finish it. Like, 
but it shouldn't be, I don't know what I did to this thing's ass, but it shouldn't be this source of anxiety to do all of these things. Like, it shouldn't be a source of anxiety to sketch in a sketchbook. You shouldn't put these huge kind of pressures on yourself that, oh, every drawing has to be a work of art. It doesn't. It just... You just need to draw, because the only way you're going to get better at drawing is by drawing. It's like any other form of physical exertion. You only get better at running by running. You only get better at soccer by playing soccer. And You can have all the theory down all you want, but if you don't have the practice behind you, it's a little bit difficult to do it. Anyways, I hope those tips and little insights into my weird ass brain <laughs> um, help you out and help you not be as harsh on yourself still always keep a critical eye but don't beat yourself into the ground like you don't there are other people out there that are more than willing to be vicious and mean trolls and everything like that on the internet you don't need to do that to yourself you can always be like, oh, I could do that better next time, and then do the next drawing and make yourself a better drawing. But don't make yourself afraid to pick up the pencil and draw because you're holding, you're holding yourself back by doing that. And take it from someone who knows <laughs> and that has held herself back for years. Don't fall into that trap. Just do the thousand crappy drawings and then you can start doing the great drawings and use the sketchbook, abuse the sketchbook, do like put all of the ugly drawings into cheap sketchbooks and you will be able to then get the really expensive nice sketchbooks and fill it with good drawings. But also don't worry about those good sketchbooks, still put crappy drawings in them because crappy drawings you might think they're crappy one day, and then the next day you look at it and be like, wow, look at that masterpiece I just drew. That's why I always say never take anything out of a sketchbook until, like, wait a week and then look back at it. And if you still hate it, then you can take it out. But you usually, after a week of letting that drawing sit, you will see something in the drawing. You'll have done some sort of a line for a hand or you'll have drawn a foot in a specific angle the rest of the drawing might be shit but that foot is amazing it's always worth keeping your crap sketches that you hate to see if there's any point in it that is salvageable because there usually is one or two little nuggets in the dirt and <laughs> I've had that I've hated drawings I'm just like what the fuck have I done and I wanted to rip them out, but I didn't. I just closed the book and I went and did something else for a little bit and I came back and I realized that, hey, that drawing is actually really good. That that drawing's got some great form, it's got a good gesture, it's got something. You can always pull something out of your bad sketches and as long as you're learning from them, then you're moving forward. Anyways, there's my motivational video while I'm drawing griffins and elves and towels. Oh my. Anyways, guys, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please give it a like so I know that you are enjoying the videos and leave a comment or in the comment section for suggestions and questions if you have anything about anything I've gone over in this video or other videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.